Hey everyone, another practice session. This is American English File, second edition, book two, part 1C, workbook. Mr. and Mrs. Clark and Percy. Okay, game on. Now, the first exercise, my favorite, the crossword. Complete the crossword. For example, number one down, clues down, pants, P-A-N-T-S. All right? Okay, stop the video and do it. Very good. Check your answers with your partner. Very good. Now let's do it together. All right. So number two, leggings. Number three, sweater. Number four, shirt. Number five, tights. And number eight, ring. All right. Clues across. Sneakers. Belt. Tie. I am wearing a tie. Skirt. Dress. Now, everybody, look. This is a skirt. It's short. Now, this is a dress. Starts from here all the way down. All right? Well done. Good start. Now, another painting. Just like the one in the student book, but different. Look at the picture, everybody. What do you see? Right. Now look at the painting. Complete the sentences with these prepositions. On the left, in, between, in front of, next to, behind. For example, there are many people in the picture. Right? This one. Okay. Now let's do this one together, me and you. Number two. There are some boats on the left of the picture. Good. Number three, there are two small animals in front of the woman and man with an umbrella. Okay. Number four, a small girl in a white dress is next to the woman in the middle of the painting. Yeah, here. Yeah. Number five, a black dog is behind the man with the beard. I see here. The dog and the man with the beard. And number six, there is a woman between the two men sitting down. The two men sitting down, and this is the woman between them. Well done. We did good. Me and you. Why? Because we are a good team. We're smart. Let's move on. Okay. Again, this painting. Now, the name of this painting is Sunday Afternoon on the Island of La Grande... Jate or Yate, all right? 1884-1886, George Pierre Swat. A French name, maybe. Now look at the painting again. Read the museum guide's description of it. Description, you remember? Okay. Write the verbs in the present continuous. For example, as you can see, the sun is shining in this picture. This is present continuous, right? Right now, right now. Okay, stop the video and do it. This is for you. Good. Check your answers with your partner. Well done. Okay, let's do it together. As you can see, the sun is shining in this picture and the people are relaxing by the Seine River in Paris. I was right. So it's a French painting. On the right of the picture, a man and a woman are walking their pets. On the left, a man is lying on the grass. He looks, at, he looks like he is relaxing. In the middle of the picture, two girls are sitting down. What are they doing? Maybe they are waiting for some friends. Or maybe they are watching the other people. On the right, near the trees, there is another girl. She is playing with someone, but we can't see who it is. Well done, everyone. You did very good. But the show must go on. So we wrote the sentences in present continuous. The sun is shining. They are walking, right? Now, I want you to do this exercise, but look, 
complete the sentences with the simple present or present continuous form of the verbs in the box. These are the verbs drive, drink, like, listen, live, rain, sleep, study, wear, work. For example, number one, sorry, I can't hear you. I'm listening to music. Present continuous. So, either simple present or present continuous. Okay, so let's do it together. Charles always. We have always, so it, ha it must be simple present. All right? Charles always drives to work. Number three, shh, be quiet. The children are sleeping. Number four, we can't play tennis today. It's raining. When? Today, right? Number five, Fiona drinks four cups of coffee every day, like me. Number six, we like this picture very much. Number seven, my brother works in the music industry. Number eight, Kathy or Kathy always wears jeans at home. Number nine, they can't come to the movies because they, they're studying for the exam tomorrow. And number 10, my parents live in a big house. Well done. Another good exercise by me and you, my friends. Let's go on. Okay, the famous headphone. What does it mean? It's time for us to listen. Okay, pronunciation. We had two types. I showed you in the main book, computer, bird, all right? So first, put the words in the right chart, in the right column. Do it. Okay. I want you to listen and check. File 1C, pronunciation B. Computer. Attractive. Bracelet. Cardigan. Jacket. Necklace. Problem. Bird. Prefer. Skirt. Sweater. T-shirt. Third. World. Okay, well done. This is the answer. Attractive bracelet, cardigan, jacket, necklace, problem. Bird, er, skirt, sweater, t-shirt, third, world. Okay, well done. You did very good. Now, we have a listening. Listen to an advertisement. Advertisement for an art exhibition. Art gallery exhibition. What is special about the pictures? So, listen to the description about the picture. What is special about them? Are you ready? Listen. File 1C. Listening. And now for the latest news in the art world. If you're in Paris this weekend, you might like to visit the new David Hockney exhibition called Fresh Flowers. As the name suggests, most of the pictures depict flowers. However, these are no ordinary flower pictures, because Hockney uses his iPhone or his iPad to draw them. Hockney started painting on his iPhone during the winter of 2008. At the time, he was staying at his home in northern England, where he has a beautiful view out of his bedroom window. One morning, he picked up his iPhone and used his fingers to paint the sunrise. He was very happy with the result and started experimenting with other pictures. 
Now, he sends his friends a different flower picture every morning. They love it. Fresh Flowers is at the Fondation Pierre Berger Yves Saint Laurent in Paris until January 30th. The exhibition shows the drawings Hockney made on an iPhone and the pictures he drew on an iPad. The gallery is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. from Tuesday to Friday, and admission costs 5 euros. Don't miss this show. It will be a bright moment in your day. Okay, so what's special about the pictures? Do you have any idea? Mm -hmm. So, David Hockney used his iPhone and iPad to draw them. Modern technology, right? Now, I want you to listen again and answer the questions. Number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, ready? Let's go. File 1C, listening. And now for the latest news in the art world. If you're in Paris this weekend, you might like to visit the new David Hockney exhibition called Fresh Flowers. As the name suggests, most of the pictures depict flowers. However, these are no ordinary flower pictures because Hockney uses his iPhone or his iPad to draw them. Hockney started painting on his iPhone during the winter of 2008. At the time, he was staying at his home in northern England, where he has a beautiful view out of his bedroom window. One morning, he picked up his iPhone and used his fingers to paint the sunrise. He was very happy with the result and started experimenting with other pictures. Now, he sends his friends a different flower picture every morning. They love it. Fresh Flowers is at the Fondation Pierre Berger Yves Saint Laurent in Paris until January 30th. The exhibition shows the drawings Hockney made on an iPhone and the pictures he drew on an iPad. The gallery is open from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. from Tuesday to Friday, and admission costs 5 euros. Don't miss this show. It will be a bright moment in your day. Okay, now check your answers with your partner. Very good. So where is the David Hockney exhibition? Do you know the location? In Paris. Paris, right? Number two, what was the first picture he drew on his iPhone? The sunrise. Number three, what does he do with his flower pictures? He sends them to his friends. Number four, when is the last day of the exhibition? January 30th. And how much does the exhibition cost? Five euros. Well done. You did very good. Nice exercise. Now, these are some words that you can use. Feet. Feet, knee, knee. The K is silent. Portrait, portrait. You have this on your phone, especially uh, sometimes on your Instagram, right? Poster, poster. Pregnant, pregnant. Relationship, relationship. Unusual, unusual. Close together, close together. Very well. And that's the practice for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, it will be good for the algorithm. Wish you all the best and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. -bye.